Peninsula Mudders, my buddy Justin stopped by two days ago. We went out cruising and he gave me a hand. We put the correct water pump on. And then he also helped me get that manifold set. Uh, I tightened everything up. We had to buy a spreader. Kevin's got one, but I went ahead and ordered one just in case he forgot to leave his out. And he didn't, which is okay, but I went ahead and bought one. Just for those of you that are wondering, this is what they look like. They're pretty simple. This one was off of Amazon. It's about 12 bucks. I don't see a name brand on it, but uh, essentially it's almost like a turnbuckle. So when you turn the flats one way, things spread apart. So And it's notched so that it'll grab the edges of the manifold. Because as you can see, I've got my tripod on so we can't get in too close here, but we'll just zoom. i got kind of a sharp edge on the edges of them there. So, uh, right now I'm messing with the horns. Beep beep. Same style horns that are gonna, they're on the, uh, the red truck. I got one that, one of the factory ones off of this truck I'm respraying because uh, all the brackets are a little bit differently, different. So, it is what it is. But the uh, horns are on. I don't know if you noticed, I also brought the bumpers out. I don't think I'll get them on. I'm going to try to possibly put the fuel tank in tonight. We'll see. Let's get kind of muggy out here. I got the straps. I got to go grab the tank and uh, possibly see about mounting that up. I may need to bring a jack or something over, but we'll see. Once the tank is on, and i got a skid plate for this thing too, uh, then I can put the rear bumper back on, which is pretty cool. That'll finish up the back of the truck. So, making some slow progress. She'll be on the road hopefully soon. I'm also going to try to tackle uh, those mirrors. I just want to swap them out. A few little things. As Take with the big ones. Oh, and the collector pipe underneath. I think that's going to be next. I'm going to go pop inside, use the restroom, and then uh, we'll let it finish the paint dry for that other horn. That's a hollering over there for. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get that uh, get that collector pipe up. That'll be the exhaust, other than from the cat back finished. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know if you pointed out, but. The accessories are on. Kevin worked on that last weekend. So, cool. This bracket's all nice and black. It was aluminum. Didn't realize that was the other bracket there, so I'll be probably pulling that off down the road, but to paint it up so it's all black. But for now, it's on. And I am good with that. So, I'll probably need to check to see if I got a new alternator. That one may be good, but if I got one, we'll use one. So, a little bit of progress. A little bit of progress. Okay, I'll be back when I got some more for you. Well, you can see the cross pipe is kind of in. However, it's not installed. Where's that the cross pipe? There's the cross pipe right there. The Y pipe. Ooh, what a pain. I don't know what's going on, but. The nuts seem to be cross-threading on the coupling on the studs. Pretty sure I double-checked them before I when I bought them, but the whole thing is on. Everything's the nuts are tight, but the whole pipe is loose. So I'm going to walk away from that for the time being. I am a little tired of that exhaust. It's very exhausting. <laughs> See, the horse thought it was funny. So, we're going to press on with, uh, I think, a little bit of interior work. I'm going to try to swap those mirrors out now. Hey, little mess. What are you doing over there? Come here. He says, okay. Okay. Pit bull attack. Ah! 
Yes. Hi. Hi, buddy. You got crews in the neighborhood looking for attention, huh? Yeah. Missing Axel. Looking for Axel. Uh, he'll be back tomorrow. He'll be back tomorrow. Good little dog. Good little dog. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Alrighty. Just tired of laying underneath this truck on the gravel right now. Plus, I've got little creepy crawlies. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Uh, they're everywhere. They're all dropping down on their little webs. Mama taught us to do that. Of course, these are coming off here pretty quick, so. I brought my panel pulling tools. Hey, look, an Oldsmobile. That thing looks good with sheet metal on it, huh? Except for that. Man. Can't open the doors, though, because everything's too tight. But looks good. That's a big hood. So. Yeah, start popping some panel bits off and get these things opened up. And I'm hoping they're, they're electric mirrors for um, heat. They're heated mirrors. Hopefully they're in here they're in the shop or something. I'm hoping to just tie into the switch for the power mirrors there and just use that for the electricity. Hopefully it works. So, alrighty, let me see what I can do to get into that.